Welcome back to a new video. Today's video is focused on stolen youth inside the cult at Sarah Lawrence. And the official synopsis of this documentary is a group of Sarah Lawrence college students fall under the influence of a friend's father, Larry Ray. The series follows the cult from its origins through its still unfolding aftermath. And before I give out my review, please like the video, dislike the video, subscribe or comment. After watching this documentary, I am going through a lot of different emotions at hand. This documentary was shocking, disturbing, and just insane to hear with all of the different stories, how one man was just basically able to ruin the lives of so many people and how this is still an ongoing situation though. As this documentary focuses on Sarah Lawrence College and a man by the name of Larry Ray, who basically created a cult with a number of different college students and just basically all of the students believe the words of what Larry Ray was saying and it becomes extremely dark and sometimes just very hard to see while I was watching this documentary. I think this documentary does a good job first and foremost with this timeline with telling everything in order and not going back and forth between different years like 2015 or 2009, but just keeping everything in order, going at a nice pace with just explaining how things really became and just how Larry Ray was truly a psychotic man with his beliefs, with how he had a way of just saying things and as many people believed him and just how he really was to all of these victims, how he abused them mentally, physically, and just brainwashed in many ways. Like this documentary also just has many different interviews from a lot of the victims that was involved in because of Larry Ray and here and there stories were definitely sad and disturbing at times too, as you just see how things were before Larry Ray, what they lost because of him and just how they had to basically just do everything in their power to get back like restart life after either leaving him or just having their own their own separate ways as a lot of the people in here are still they're somewhat doing better now as they're doing different things just it seems hopeful for a lot of the people that were in here as some of the victims were not interviewed or didn't want to be in here for obvious reasons, of course. And I understand why, but the interviews in here were just absolutely sad to hear the video footage, the interviews, just the recordings of what Larry Ray did was just disturbing. Like what he almost did to Dan in that one video was just sickening. Like, how are you going to put pliers in a man's tongue trying to cut off his tongue, beat him with a hammer, and then basically cut off his you know what. Like, and the videos with Felicia was just also just disturbing to see, just distressing to see. Like, this was an insane story. Like, I cannot believe how this man was just capable of just doing this to so many people and how he got away with it for over a decade. But this documentary also just does a good job, though, too, with just... Show, telling us who this man is as beforehand I had no idea but this man was clearly crazy this man was clearly dangerous with what he was doing his history was pretty horrible to hear about but thankfully this man will never see the light of day sooner or later he will become natural selection as he was sentenced to over 60 years in prison and some other people are mentioned that did get charged while some did get charged another person in here that should have been charged hasn't been but things maybe might change in the future i don't know but this documentary was a whole roller coaster in my opinion with just hearing the different stories of all the victims just seeing the video footage at hand with what this man was doing whenever he felt like someone wasn't doing what they're supposed to be doing or had quote unquote disrespected him or betrayed him in some little way or like broke something of his it was too much at times but i would say that this, those things though 
I felt like this was a pretty interesting documentary as all of this, all of the information was brand new to me. I had no idea that any of this happened. And I'm hopeful that a lot of the victims are doing better now and just hopefully their future things will continue to go well for them. I would say my rating for this documentary would probably be maybe four stars out of five. So thank you for watching and until next time.